At the birth of the Hermitcraft 7 server, there was one question. We need to have a proper election. Who on this server is the right man for the job? Now you've got yourself something funky. What do you plan to do if you become mayor? What do I plan- um... What do I plan to do if I become mayor? Honestly, I haven't- I haven't thought that far- I haven't thought that far ahead. Mum, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? A little sorting system, and it uses some very simple redstone monostable vertical slime block double piston extenders that are fully automatic, made so much simpler by the addition of the observer block, which works really quite nicely. Now I've been doing a lot of looking at Scar's base. Okay, I do this quite often. If I'm ever stuck with my build, I come over here and just stare. Uh, uh, pieces of it because I mean that the dude's a master all right and I really really like his spruce wood mixed with jungle wood but this central part of the base has been sort of neglected recently and I haven't really spoken too much about it and to be frankly honest is because I've been stressing I've been stressing a lot it's kind of a mix that I'd never thought of before and also the dark oak as well it's a mix that I'd never really thought of before because I just assumed those colors wouldn't go together but they look seriously, seriously cool. It's beginning to look like a solid build. It's beginning to look like a solid build. I think I might be going mad. I'm going to have to just take some inspiration from Mr. Scar, Mr. Panda, Panda Man. And I'm going to have to, yeah, I mean, look at, look at this. It's, oh my goodness. I just, oh. I am struggling so much with the mental maths on how to get this diagonal here. And then arrow. No, that's good. I can't seem to make it do that. I, I, I can't compete with someone who builds things like this. How can I compete with someone who thinks to build small mushrooms? Okay, the heart should now be beating. <laughs> it looks so cool. I'm happy to play with a slight slideshow to have an actual beating heart in the center of my base. I mean, this is wild. This thing's now finished. My base is completed. The outside of my base is completed. I hope that you've enjoyed the process. It's been a lot of fun. There's obviously a monumentous moment. And... Mushrooms. Mushrooms. This, this villager trading hall that I created is, is pants. I designed it and it's pants. I need to admit that we need to do something different. Uh, so we're going to make a bulk trading hall. Three hours later, are you ready for the big reveal of my new villager system? This is Bob. Bob is the security guard and as you can see, he's a very excitable chap. He also really likes baked potatoes. So if we just grab ourselves one of those and throw it through the system, hopefully he will open the gate for us. Right, it didn't, it didn't quite reach him. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo working man blues. My goal is to become a rich hermit. I've got to start a store called Holdia. It's like IKEA but for red stony bits. I'm really quite chuffed. I'm gonna sell some three by three And maybe some Papa Una Traponas. I'm going to record a bunch of dedicated redstone tutorials for each one of these redstone contraptions. I don't know how popular this store is going to be, to be honest with you. I really have no gauge for it, as I've never built anything like this before. You see, I'm going to have to make a website. All right, I'm going to have to go away and make a website. But I think that's fun. <laughs> oh dear, is now open for business.
Now I must say I'm rather discouraged. 200,000 visits to Odea.com and not a single sale. What is going on? Am I doomed to fail? Oh dear! I even bought a permit. 200,000! And not one was a hermit! I just don't understand. You know, my store is great. I've built a fantastic store with fantastic products, and I've decided, you know what? I'm not the problem. The hermits are the problem. This store is pants. This store used to be really pants, and it got less pants. Now it's very big and slightly less pants, but still pants. This gigantic store is definitely pants. This thing isn't a store, but it's still pants. This one's okay. Pants, 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 pants. It's all just pants. Anyway, by the looks of things, the spookification chamber has been a massive success, and we are actually making diamonds. Look at this. This is my most successful store yet. And it kills people. That's why I should have been doing it all along. As I was going through, doing some organizing, I found this. This is the Odia Build Now, Pay Later. An armor equipping station. You see what I'm wearing right now? No helmet, so I should get a helmet on. Oh no. As you can see, a glorious Odia kit has been constructed in your base, and now you need to pay for it. What? Killing hermits equals stonks. So let's find Mumbo and ask a quick favor of him. Right, where is he? Oh, he's there. He's got a bamboo suit on. Hi, Mumbo. I don't want you to come to my house. He didn't even hesitate. I don't like people. I like my house. I don't like people coming to my house. I want to be alone. It's been fun. It's been a cool hermit craft episode. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. And actually, just as I was recording that outro there, I realised as soon as it gets warm in England, I start complaining in my Hermitcraft episodes. Well, that is going to end. This will be the last time you ever hear me say this. It is currently 31 degrees Celsius in my VW bus. This has been the first episode that I've recorded with my bike above my desk. I use my shelf hooks and things like that, it's up there. I currently have my entire computer set up kind of dangled around the kitchen and I'm recording from a dining table and I'm surrounded by pillows and blankets. I'm sat in a dining chair, I've got my mouse on a placemat. I am not excited for having to dismantle this entire setup. I have to carry my absolute bus, my absolute train of a computer, it's huge. I have to carry that thing up the street. It's gonna be a workout and a half. Six hours later. Now that the episode is finished, I've just realized how tired I am. I hope this the end of this episode isn't just like a garbled mess. Day two. I Yeah, they, uh, they, and I say they because pfft, don't know who they are, <laughs> they took my throne away and then replaced it with this disgusting mycelium. And look at this, the mushrooms are growing and spreading. You know, I talk all big and tough down there by the throne or lack there of a throne, but I don't know how to fight a war, <laughs> but we got to do it. We got to do it for the hermits, right? We've got to stand up for what is right. And what is right is the environment of hermitcraft being soiled by the mycelium. Think of Mumbo here. Look at that face. That poor face is suffering from allergies. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah. Well, hello there. If you like this video, please leave a like on it, and I dare you to get it to this many likes. The magic <laughs> number of likes. I would kiss you directly on the lips. Also, if you haven't checked it out yet, our second channel, Hazar and Hide Gaming 2, is where we split up these clips from these bigger videos, and we chop them up, make them more digestible and shareable for you. And if you haven't checked out our disclaimer section yet, our disclaimers of intention and goodwill, I highly suggest you do. I love you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. 
Cheers. Cheers.